Hello everybody, this is the Dragon Cannon here, and today I'm playing Skyblock! I love Skyblock. I have played a lot of Skyblock on normal creative servers, not creative servers, excuse me, hub servers like EDOG878. Now, EDOG878 is an amazing, amazing server. I want you all get to go on to the server who is watching this. Uh, and also download this texture pack, EDOG878. I will go to my texture pack folder to show it to you. Okay, so this texture pack, EDOG878.zip, is the best texture pack I've probably ever used. Now this server is a creative Minecraft server. Those of you who um, want to go on creative and... You know, build whatever you want. Now, he has other game modes other than just creative. For example, he has, um, like, uh, Skyblock, obviously. He also has a couple of game modes that I find really cool, like Factions and Prison. So, yeah, check out edog878.com. That's the official website for this texture pack and his server. It's a great texture pack, great server. I have lots of fun doing, playing on it. Okay, so in this Skyblock series, what we're going to be doing is using a couple of mods. Now, as you can see, I'm obviously using shaders. Uh, I'm using the um, Zeus version 10 standard because it looks really good and I don't get lag when I'm using it. I'm also going to be using... Um, what am I looking at? The Wayla mod. As you can see, as I mouse over blocks, it tells me right there that I uh, what I'm looking at. So that's a good mod to use. I'm also going to use NEI, which is a great mod. Now, usually I wouldn't use this in Skyblock because, well, you're not really crafting many of these things in Skyblock, as you can plainly tell. But using NEI is something I like to to actually do while I'm playing most of my Minecraft games, so this is what we're going to use. Now, we're also using another mod called Inventory Tweaks, and those of you who don't know, Inventory Tweaks is a very useful mod that allows you to basically have auto-sorting. Like, say you have a, a pickaxe in your inventory, and you have another one on your hotbar. The one in the hotbar, when that breaks, the end inventory tweaks will automatically take that pickaxe and put it back into your hotbar slot that your pickaxe was on and it'll do that for stacks of uh, blocks if you have more stacks of blocks in your inventory it'll put it in the hotbar slot slot where you had it it's a really useful mod now another mod i'll be using which uh, again is not really useful for sky is damage indicators now i get that damage indicators isn't all that useful during Skyblock, but I like the mod. Okay, so without further ado, let's get to playing some Skyblock. I may skip through many of uh, this first part because most people don't really like watching people dig dirt. I don't know. It's just, I really don't want to spend a couple minutes watching someone dig dirt in Minecraft. If that, I mean, that's just me. Okay. So here we go. Now, I'm removing this one here, too. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a wooden block there. So that allows us to basically have um, a backstop, if you will, to the cobblestone generator. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Oh. Okay, that was annoying. Okay. Now... What you want to do, so this ice, this water doesn't freeze, is you want to put a block over it. So I'm going to do that now. There, now I've just put a block over the water. Now, um, we're in an ice mountain biome right now. Okay, so this whole map is set in an ice mountain biome. Which means the blocks of water that you place will freeze, you'll get snow on the ground. It's a little annoying, but that's part of the sky block. It's part of the challenges. Okay, so now let's put down the lava. Okay. 
cover the lava up just so I don't fall into it. That'll be useful. Okay, next task is to get some wood. So, what I like to do is I like to get really close up to it. So that way you can mine the wood without any problems. Now, other people would build a small platform around it. I don't usually do that because well, I find it uh, to be, you know, not as useful as some of the other things you can do. That's four pieces of wood. Now, there's six logs in total on that tree. I usually grab four out of six because when you um, delete the last two, the leaves actually will start to decay. So, you know, you want all those leaves to stay there, but also get as much wood as you can. Grab only four. There's six in total. Alright, so let's make ourselves... Okay, made a crafting bench. Got the achievement benchmarking. Here we go. Alright, now the boring part of Skyblock. Digging dirt, I'm mean, digging cobblestone until all your fingers fall off. Now this is why I'm going to show you this little area here. Now what we do is we grab a wooden block because it takes a, a really long while for a pickaxe to dig through wood. So putting that there is sort of a backstop, if you will, so you can hold the button down. Allowing us to just hold the button down and keep yammering on. Alright, so here we go. It's getting dark. Yeah, it's getting dark. Okay, so while I'm digging some cobblestone, I might as well tell you a little bit about this map. Okay, this is the classic Skyblock 2.1 map. The one where you have start on this island with a ice block and just a bucket of lava. Over there on the sand island, there is one cactus, 27 sand blocks in total, 10 a, a chest with 10 obsidian, a melon, um, one slice of melon, so that way you get one melon seed from it, and one pumpkin seed. Okay, and that is what you'll need to make your melon and pumpkin farm. It's also what you'll need to make your cactus farm, and also the challenge of making the glass panes. So, this is some good challenges there, and also the nether portal, which we're going to need to make. So, the first part of this is basically just going to be mining cobblestone. Now, when you first load into this, I suggest you mine at least a couple of stacks of cobblestone before you go over to the sand island. Just make sure you have a lot of cobblestone in your inventory. Okay. Oh, here we go. So, this is something. Okay. So this texture pack, there's only one fault with it. As you can hear, the um, fire sound, right, is still playing. Now, I, I, I think they're going to change that, fix that, in later updates of this texture pack. But right now, when fire shows up like that, it plays the fire sound. But it doesn't get rid of it when you stop the fire. So what you have to actually do is go into music and sounds, turn down your master volume, and then go back into the game, and then go back into your music and sounds, and turn the master volume back up. It's a bit of a hassle, but unfortunately, you have to do it. So, give me a minute. There we go. Annoying fire sound gone. E-Dog, please get on that and fix that. Okay. Back to mining cobblestone. Okay. So I'm going to leave this episode here. I will catch you next time and when I'll finally have some more cobblestone and we'll go over to that sand island. See you later, guys. Bye.